Uh, yeah. So uh, I, I, to protect privacy, I, I omitted a lot of details, but here's a couple of questions. So peer-reviewed articles on fraud in internet surveys. So that would also be called like a, a methodology or an instrument and things like that. But surveys and online research is pretty good. Um, and then fraudulent survey again um, for LGBTQ and gender diversity and populations, things like that. When I first started looking around, I, was, I couldn't find anything either. Um, so let me show you how I went about things. And then I would encourage you to go through this as well and see what you can find. And maybe this will lead you towards the things that you're looking for. Um, the first thing that I explored was I omitted um, some of the details. So I just did what is different words for internet or online um, and what is different words for survey. Um, online research is kind of open-ended. That could be like text analysis and things like that. But surveys is good, questionnaire. There, there might be another name for it as well. And then fraud. I couldn't think of a better word. Fraud. Um, so let me show you how my first search went. Oh, by the way, if you put this whole line in a search engine for uh, like a database, it should work across all of them. And what it means is when you have something in parentheses, it's kind of like this right here. Each line um, or section in the parentheses is separated by the N. Um, and I'm happy to explain that further. But that's pretty straightforward. Everything has an advanced search engine. What I ran into was I wanted to find out how do they call fraud? How can they detect fraud? How can they tell if something is fraudulent? How can they validate an instrument is what um, the, the scientists would call it. And what we have here is we have a, a little thing that is evidence of it. So there might be bots answering surveys. Um, so somebody programmed something to answer a bunch of surveys, maybe to get like free coupons or something. I have no idea. Um, but I was looking to see if they had different words for it. And what you can do is you can go through these. Oh, and there's, there's other words like credibility, validity, um, trust, reliability, things like that. But those are so, they're kind of ambiguous. So it's not great. What you can do is go down here to subjects. And out of all those articles, you can see what they're talking about. These are the subjects put together. But a lot of these are really ambiguous, aren't they? So what I did, Bill Gates, it's just names of people, and we don't have a, a lot of those words. So not giving up, I moved on to a next database. Uh, but I think what you would do is you would cruise through the titles a little bit and save the ones that looked pretty good. Because it might be something like a mosaic where you're taking little pieces and building a case um, instead of finding the perfect article that says everything you want to say. So this might be more of a mosaic. Um, oh, truthfulness. But I looked in the library catalog for that. And here you can see I looked at that, that whole thing. Library catalog's just the main search. And here we have bots, but we also have bad actors, data quality. Um, so these are other keywords we could throw in there. Let's see. Let me start another one. I'm going to copy this one. Do, 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 do. And data. That might be part of it. If that's the way that um, medical professionals in particular, if that's how they assess it. We'll get to that one. Um, the one problem I think that we've got is it's, it's difficult to tell if something is fraudulent. So we might suspect it, um, but that w again, you can go through the subjects on this side. But moving on to Scopus, Scopus is a database that's 99% um, peer reviewed. It's a good place to go. Oh, by the way, in the library catalog, um, there is a peer reviewed journals checkbox in the search results. Scopus. This was, so here I did, you could see that whole search that I did. And here you can see something going on. Automatic deception detection. 
this one might be pretty good. If you find an article that really nails one aspect of what you're looking at, that might be one to save and cite and quote, but also look through and how do they talk about it. Here they have deception detection. That might be something they just came up with. Or they're promoting, but you know, maybe there's something going on here. But look at all these different things in here that they've got. Verification, fake news, I think we're a little, that thing has gotten tired out. Veracity assessment. And so what I did is I went to the library catalog and I tried narrowing it, I tried backing out a bit. So instead of just online, I wanted to look at survey or questionnaire and fraud. And then when you click on the articles for that, and sometimes you just have to keep on taking away keywords until you, until you start finding those things that you um, resonate with your topic. Oh, this is going achingly slow. There's validation. Questionnaire validation. So this might be the way that you would um, do a search is try all these different things. Reproducible research, that gets into a whole messy, it's beyond just the instrument. Data fraud is a different thing. So let's go and take some of these keywords and let's go to um, a health professions database. And let's test some of these out and see if this is what we're looking for. So if you go under databases, you can go, you could go into Scopus and narrow down by health professions, but you can also go under uh, the database subjects and go to health promotion and education. That might be one. We could go into medicine. Let's start with this one. What do we get? <laughs> Scopus. I want a specific health sciences database. I'm going to go to medicine. And there's one that I really like. It's, it's called Medline. And that's another. Um, ooh, Sinol is really good, too. Let's try Medline. Medline. There's several Medlines. Um, Medline is a, a source of content, and then the database is in brackets that represents that content. A lot of it's open, and it's paid by the government, so it's not protected by copyright licensing as strictly as some other ones. So let's go. Let's try deception detection. So now we're in health professions. Quotes makes it look for deception detection as a, as a phrase stuck together wherever it might be. This is cool. A little creepy. Face detection software. <laughs> the computer says you're lying about. Your back doesn't hurt at all. I'm just kidding. I don't know how it's going to go. So this might be something. So instead of like the survey fraud, maybe we're talking about deception altogether. So this looks like a good one. It's got 155. So let's add survey or questionnaire. OK. This is my methodology for cruising around and looking at things. Some of these are going to be just dreadful, and some of them might be spot on. But you might have to just try these different databases. Let's go back to Scopus and try that. Deception, detection, and survey or questionnaire. So there's 49. Um, all of, these are all over the place. But these might be things that you could use. Um, we could also go back and do questionnaire and validation in that medical database. Medical database, where'd you go? I'm going through tabs. 
So there was only five for deception detection, but validation is a big deal. That, this is like statistically significant. So questionnaire and validation, this is a big deal. Validation oftentimes is related to, are you getting the results that you're looking for rather than looking at um, the people who are answering it? So if you're asking an ambiguous question, is it too ambiguous? So on this one, we could put deception or fraud. You see how I'm pulling in that? So we have we got way too many results. Um, and so we narrow it down by adding other keywords. And so falsified hand sanitizer, I do not want to hear that right now. So that one actually it looks pretty good. Question and validation and deception or fraud. Now, if we're looking, um, so I would cruise through these and see if they're okay, but try these other, you know, you're, as you cruise around keywords and you find things, this is probably the way to go. Um, and then you can expand or contract depending on the database that you go to. One related to um, gender, actually you could put in gender in this one, but if you weren't looking at the health perspective, you could go in specifically to um, Scopus and we had that search and then we could put in LGBTQ and I'm gonna, what do I put? I put a star. So in case there's other ones that go like a plus or, or other iterations of that. And we could go into those specific populations. No, no results found. So as you cruise around, try out different keywords as you go um, and this would be the way to go. And let me know how it goes and try different databases that you're familiar with. Um, and I think we'll track something down, but it could be that there's not a lot written on this and we might have to piece it together like a mosaic, okay?